Okay, so this is a typical Husqvarna blade. Um, you can see the orange paint on there. It's a little bent out of shape. It's definitely seen better days. <laughs> it's really bent. I've I grinded them sharp and they're already pretty dull. Um, it's time to replace the blades on our mower. And so <clears throat> we mulch in our grass. We don't have a mulching bag and we like the grass to go back into the soil for um, for growing purposes. So we are going with this blade. Now in comparison, look at the thickness of these two blades. Even that way, this blade, this blade feels a lot sturdier. Now this is what you call a mulching blade made by Oregon. And I'll put a link down below. If you, This is for a 48 inch uh, deck, but I'm sure you can find your size. Uh, it's got a long cutting edge. I'd almost say that the cutting edge on this is longer than our old blade. It is longer, slightly longer. And then after it cuts, it has these kind of blades on the back here. These are for mulching the grass. So in theory, you'll have less mulching of your grass uh, after using these blades, uh, less, less, less clumps of mulch on your grass, uh, which is something I'm trying to avoid. So I, I want to be able to mulch in the grass. <clears throat> according to this, um, according to what I've read, two-thirds of the grass that is cut by this blade will go straight back down into the ground. Uh, the other third will be kicked out to the side. So if you are thinking about the, the amount of clipping, grass clippings that you have that can pouring out the side of your mower, um, this should reduce that significantly. Um, it's a nice looking blade, it's, and it's, it's a very heavy blade compared to this one. It's, probably double the weight. Look at how much thicker that is. It feels thicker. Yeah. So we're going to put these on and test them out and see how they do. I'm going to pull off all these blades. I've already got one blade on here and so I just need to do those two. Now this one here, if you watched uh, my other video on replacing mandrel, I talked about these uh, newer nuts and washers that come with these assemblies. So you can see how that was loose when I started to go in there. The bolts are already kind of messed up. Um, and this has really kind of just been worn down. It's not very effective anymore. I did put another washer in there to help, but you can see where it started to already kind of chew up this brand new mandrel that I put in a week ago. So these will ruin your mandrels or spindle assemblies the way that they're designed. I don't know why they come that way. If you've got your older uh, nuts and washers, these are 10 times better. Um, this spindle assembly over here is kind of getting old, but I don't have another one on hand, so that'll be another day's repair. These blades just kind of go on there like so. I try and install these so that they're all pointing in opposite directions. Because of how it worked and stuff. I'm actually going to go ahead and try and help this side by putting on my good nut washer. Let's see if I can tighten that down. Hopefully that'll help. 
help that last a little longer. This side's about to go, so not as worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, a different screw assembly and put it on there. This one came off of our um, new mandrel that we just got. Because I'm gonna have to replace that mandrel soon anyway. Let's go ahead and put the cheap stuff on there. Okay, now I'm just gonna position those so that they're going in different directions, like so. That ought to help with the mulching and the cutting. Now I just need to flip this back over and put it back up underneath the uh, mower and we'll see how these mulching blades work. But just keep in mind when you install these, you want the, the mulchers to be going up into the deck. This is the cutting blade up front here. Okay, so this is an area where I have a lot of uh, mulched grass previously that's clumped up. So I wanted to go over this area and see if the new mulching blades will help get rid of this junk and just clean this area up as I go over it. They should be putting about two thirds of my mulched uh, grass straight back down to the ground, completely mulched up. And I should be reducing significantly the amount of clumps that you see here. So as you can see, um, it didn't get rid of the mulch that was already there. Um, it definitely cut it up into uh, smaller pieces. So I think after a couple of rains, a lot of this will go away, whereas some of the old stuff in areas that I haven't remowed yet will probably remain because uh, the mulching blades definitely cut up the grass into smaller pieces. Another thing I noticed on areas that I hadn't mowed yet is the lawnmower got bogged down less, which is a pretty big deal to me. Um, regular blades are made to cut and then push the grass into a bag. Uh, these blades are made to cut and mulch up the grass. So by mulching it up, um, it, it's making the grass a lot uh, smaller and, it, and it's also making it easier for the blades to kind of cut through the stuff that gets stuck under the mower deck and keep going without bogging down the mower. So. Overall, I was pretty pleased with uh, this area here. The next thing I want to show you is an area that we have been maintaining. Normally after we mow it, it kind of looks like this area right here with a little bit of grass mulch on top. But check this out, this is impressive. So this is an area on the side of our house that we started maintaining more regularly this year. So it's been mowed on a regular basis. When I mowed it this time, I probably only cut about an inch to an inch and a half. Um, but if you look out there, there's almost no grass clippings visible to the eye uh, on top of the, the grass. There are grass clippings. They're just very small, very fine. Um, after a rain or just even a day in the sun, these clippings will be able to um, make their way down into the, the, the soil. So um, that's exciting because I hate mowing and then having a nice clean cut. And, and that's the other thing. These blades are pretty impressive. That, the grass is very smoothly cut. Um, but I hate having a nice clean cut and then seeing your mulched grass on top. At the same time, if we don't mulch our grass, um, it'll just die because it gets so hot here. The mulching uh, adds nitrogen to the soil, adds moisture, it helps retain the moisture. It basically helps you build up a topsoil for your grass to be healthy long term. So mulching is important, but having a nice clean area for your kids to play is also important and that's where these blades really did a, an effective job is the area that we've been maintaining 
virtually no mulch left over the top of it. Uh, it's very clean looking. I'm very happy with that. I'm actually impressed with how this area came out. So the, the mulching blades by Oregon are awesome. They definitely work.